2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Hello everyone, we'll be here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer is about to take part in their very first Corn Ferry Tour event. What are they up against? What can they expect for the season ahead? Luke, it's all been fun and games up until now. Now, this is where reality hits you. Three wins, battlefield promotion, straight onto the PGA Tour. In all reality, finish in the top 25 and get your PGA Tour card for next season. There's a lot at stake, though, isn't there, Rich? Because everyone's gunning for the same prize. There is a little benefit, though. The top 75 at the end of the regular season, at least they get themselves to that Corn Ferry Tour playoffs, which is huge. Yes, but you can't think that way. You have to think top 25 or nothing else. That's the way that you get from the Corn Ferry Tour to the PGA Tour. You don't have to think about the qualifying process. You're in, done, thank you. All right, the bar's been set. Shoot for the top. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. They've made it. Off to a great start today. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. And after a bird at the last, they take the honor on the hole. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot on the second. Opting for the three wood. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Putting for Eagle here. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Putting for birdie. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. That was a gallant attempt. An opportunity to make their par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently a couple under for the round. We've arrived at a par four hole. Good looking shot this. Playing from around 150 yards here. Going with the eight iron here. Outstanding approach shot. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. And down it goes. And that will take him to three under. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That got caught up in a few of the branches. That's really not what we were looking for. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Going with the seven. This one might need to sit. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine.
Oh, this looks pure. Okay, steady now. Three feet to go here to the hole. Okay, let's head to the next. Leading by a shot after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Got to say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, they're lucked out here. I mean, they did get into some deep rough, but the lie ended up being not too, too bad. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. What an opportunity to make a birdie. It's got a chance. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And with that, he'll move to four under par. He's currently sitting in first place. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Going with the five wood. Nicely done. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Get in. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. <laughs> oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. From around 140 yards here. Choosing the 9-iron here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, they've certainly got the swing and the groove. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. It's on a great line. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take him to five under. Still in the lead now after that hole. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Oh, that was left all the way off the club. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> Came close with that chip. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Uh, this one's heading towards the rough, I think. That's going to find the water, sadly. And here we are with their four. Thirteen feet to the cup. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today.
If it's up, it could be in. Oh, that's frustrating. This one's for bogey. Job done. Let's head to the next. Currently four under for the round. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Now man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, they're in the deep rough here. Um, but they ended up with a, you know, pretty favorable lie considering. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. Go on, get in the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And that puddle drop. Well done. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Well, that was overclubbed. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Lots of greens and regulation today for this player, Luke. This is a surprise missing this one. Oh. Yeah, that's some golf, particularly from that terrain. Just a simple tap in for power on this one. He's currently in a share of top spot. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Wow, that was just striped. Second shot here on the 13th. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh, so close. Well hold. Let's move on. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Sitting at four under for the day. Currently tied for top spot. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Hey, nice looking line. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Opting for the six iron. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad though. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Good looking putt. Yeah, nice to make a mid-range par putt. With just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. Currently in first position. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish.
opting for the 9 iron. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Not taking enough club to get it there. All right, safely out of the bunker and now a chance to make a putt. And he needs this to save par. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Now leading by one shot. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Well, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Oh, so close. Good look at a birdie here. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to six under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Well, what a lovely position to be in. Holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Well played, mate. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Opting for the five wood. That's a good looking shot there. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Tracking and mark it down as another W. What a way to win it. Absolutely. All tournament long, they just played outstanding golf. Hats off to them. Well, Rich, this is a big moment in this young player's career. Their very first victory on the Corn Ferry Tour. What a way to start your career. Get the win out of the way. Bigger things lie ahead for this player. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey and Rich B, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.
2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Sand Dune Classic is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and down on the course, it's hello to John McCarthy. Thanks Luke, uh, glad to be here. Looking forward to taking in some golf at eye level down here. Can't wait to see what happens out there today. He's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? Well, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Go in. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. No, that's not the shot they wanted. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Going with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. Uh, that's out to the right for sure. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Wow, that almost went in the hole. He has this putt to save his par. Ouch, that hurts. And this one will be for bogey. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And that'll move him to even par for the tournament. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Second shot here on the third. And that shot back in the fairway and here we are with the third shot playing their fourth shot oh, 13 footer coming up here Just didn't drop. Bogey putt coming up here. And down it goes for consecutive bogeys. And making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Pretty sure that one's headed left. This would be a great up and down. Eight feet to the cup. That's well hold. Sitting at one over for the day. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That should find the fairway. Second shot here on the fifth. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Well, it looks like it's too much club on this one. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. Big par saver coming up for this fella. This one has eyes for the hole. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Got to say, 
putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Time to tee off at the sixth. This one might roll into the rough. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? This one is in the first cut, and it's sitting up pretty good. So I might have a good chance here. This one looks like it's going right. Sitting at one over. Ooh, really had that shot dialed in. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Now four back after that hole. Teeing off here at the seventh. Seems to have chosen the three wood. As soon as that left the club, you knew it was going left. Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. on the green now but a bit of work left to do here well this would be a good one to make it's for par this one's online well hold nicely played moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. Sitting at plus one. Going with the hybrid. That's the right option. Put it back in play. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead. 16 feet to the hole. This one's dialed in. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Currently at plus one for the day. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Well, a little off the target with that one. That's been the story of the day, isn't it, Luke? It has missed a lot of greens, and you can't afford to do that on this golf course. Let's see if we can make this. And keep the par on the card. Hey, that's a chance. Well done. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. We have a par four on this one. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Four shots behind our leader. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Chance to move inside the top 20 if you can hold this putt. It's tracking. A well hold, you'll take the birdie. 
And unfortunately, dropping back to level with the card. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. Couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. Oh, that's a high-caliber shot. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Needs this one to kick right. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. Oh, well played. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. And that brings to an end that hole. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. That's some good golf right there. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Looks like about 22 feet to the hole. Big chance here. And down she goes from outside the range. I will take that and a spot in the top 10 to boot. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That one's right out of the top drawer. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Sitting at one under, currently tied for ninth. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. 14 feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Ooh. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. He's in a share of ninth place. This hole here is a par four. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Second shot here on the 14th. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hull a long one. Still counts. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Looking better. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to two under. He's currently in a share of sixth. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the 15th. Always like it when they take the big dog and let it rip from the middle of the fairway. Splash. Time now for the fourth shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. That a boy. Good shot. Well, this would be a great par putt if he can make this. And the putt drops. Now two under. Heading down the stretch. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. This is from miles away. Oh, 
just missed. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Just two shots back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. They are trailing, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. And from the bunker here. That was a solid shot. Out of the bunker and onto the surface. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it, if you can hold this. It was on a good line. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, guys, a lie is, you know, considering the situation is pretty good. Hopefully they can get a hold of this one. That's not what they were looking for. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Oh, well played. And this punt for a final score of 69. Looks good off the blade. And that will conclude his tournament to date. Well, that concludes our tournament. And the gap between victory ends up being three, Rich. Just needed to be a little bit sharper with the irons this week. Overall, they were good, but it was less than spectacular in spots. It's something they're going to need to go back and work on before the next event if they want to finish any better. However, finishing just three strokes back, that's got to give them a lot of confidence, a lot of belief in their game at the moment. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the East Coast Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and as this next player gets ready to go, Rich, they're playing nicely this season. Are you seeing them going all the way to the Tour Championship? Luke, they've already got a win this season, so in all honesty, they're playing with house money. They're almost guaranteed a PGA Tour card for next year. Let's see if they can get another win and possibly one more to get that Battlefield promotion. Can't wait to see what unfolds. That should find the cut stuff. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's well played. Pin high. Seven feet to the cup. I like the look of this. Fair effort that. Good birdie. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Pretty 
a good shot there. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Going with a three wood here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Ooh, right by the hole. This putt coming up is for birdie. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Looks to be going with the six iron. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. And coming up well short. Six feet remaining to the cup. This one started out on a good line. Solid par putt, that. Currently two under for the day. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Wow, that was just striped. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Yeah, nice looking shot there. Got to say, I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. Always nice to hold those for birdie. And with that, he'll move to three under par. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. It looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the fifth. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. That was a gallant attempt. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently at three under for the day. Here we are at the sixth hole. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. This shot from the first cut of rough. Opting for the nine iron. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Now, coming out of the rough, Missing the green was always in the cards. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. And tapping it in for par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. And choosing the eight iron here. That's a bad error to make there. That's headed right. And here we are with the third shot. Oh. Yeah, golf clap, really good. Okay, let's head to the next. And finds himself in a share of the lead. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Opting for the three wood. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. 
A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to four under. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yeah, nicely played. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. That line was looking good, wasn't it? Big putt for Parra coming up. And down it goes. Well, this is when the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Sitting at minus four, currently in the lead. Going with the five iron here. Oh my, right by the hole. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. This one's looking good. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to five under. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Beautiful swing there. The interesting choice of the driver here. And here we are with the third shot. Okay, so that's step one. But now going to hold a mid-range putt. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Wonderfully played. Lovely effort, that. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. That putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And that will take him to seven under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Going with the six iron here. Woo, back there, horsey. Quality shot, that one. Setting up here with a very long putt.
Oh, so close. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Nice stroke. Well, that looked good for a long way. And this one is for bogey. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. He sits in first position. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's tidy. This putt to get to seven under the card. Okay, steady now. It's just about three feet away. You don't want to miss these. to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Leading by a couple after that hole. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. to be going with the five iron. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. Putting for birdie. It's on a great line. Well done. Take the birdie. Oh, just a slim lead coming down that stretch. Anything can happen. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Well, this should find the short grass. Second shot here on the 16th. Oh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Ouch, that hurts. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And that will take him to eight under. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Going with the nine iron, I think. This one needs to kick left. This putt is from 14 feet. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Not a bad line, this one. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. 
A great shot from our leader. Luke, that one was humongous. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Wow, what a shot. Well, that's beautifully judged. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. It's got a chance. Hold it. That's another victory. Hats off to them. If one is good, two is twice as nice, isn't it? Two wins on the season for this player. Awesome stuff. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.
2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. We're here at the Lighthouse Open. Our coverage is about to begin. Well, welcome to delightful Nova Scotia here in Canada. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam at the famed Royal Ethelwyn course, Rich. And it's a big par five to start, isn't it? It is. This first hole is a royal pain in the Ethelwind, <laughs> no doubt about it. 589 yards. I mean, you can get it home in two, but that's only reserved for the big players. I got to say, it's a good birdie opportunity to start off the round, but it asks a lot. Can't wait to find out what happens here. That dog will hunt. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. This looks like around 26 feet. That's the right pace. This should drop. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Time to tee off at the second. Oh, great swing there. Two wins so far this season. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Left yourself an opportunity. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Ooh. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole... This is how the leaderboard looks. Currently one under for the event. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with the eight iron here. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. 12 feet to the cup coming up. This is a good chance. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. This shot from 120 yards. They need to flight this one down into the wind. That's just inside the range. Outside chance here for the birdie. Get in the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And this one is for his par. And that puddle drop. Well done. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Ooh, almost went in. And this part to move into a share of first. And it certainly makes putting easier, doesn't it? And that will take him to three under. And that makes him tied for first. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Getting ready to play their third. And here we are with their fourth.
that looked good for a long time. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Standing on this par four and leading. What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Good looking shot this. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. This one's going right at the pin here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Lining up the birdie putt here. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. We have a par three on this one. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Just didn't drop. Three feet to go here to the hole. Nicely hold, and for par. And now four under for the day. We've arrived at a par four hole. This lie's not great. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Not sure how that putt came up, Shy. It defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? One back, nine to go, Luke. This is getting interesting. Handy effort, that one. Now, four under par. Currently tied for second. And here we are with the third shot. Only one shot off the pace. Oh, that one just missed the hole. A chance here to take top spot on the leaderboard. Looking good. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that's gonna hoist him into first place. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Opting for the five iron. Oh, better be careful out there. It's danger. It's heading left, isn't it? And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. Wow. Well, how about the concentration to pull that shot off? Ooh, nice line. Currently five under for the round. 
Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 12th. Going with the five wood. This one's hitting left, I think. Yeah, well played. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes on the hole the whole way. And that will move him to six under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Par threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Birdie at the last. This for another. Get excited. This could go in. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Well, that's a handy shot. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Going with the seven. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. John, have you got a read on this one? This looks like around 35 feet to the hole. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hole. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Coming off a string of three birdies. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This looks to be heading to the green. Good look at a birdie here. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. This one's tracking. And that putt drops. Now nine under as we head to the stretch. And yeah, nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. I love a good two-shotter. Birdies on par fours feel great because you've had to execute all three shots. Oh, well done. Setting up here, coming off a run of birdies. Absolutely, it's been a good streak late in the round. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. And he's safely on the green with that shot. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. It was on a good line. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Leading by three strokes now. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Oh my, that's a putrid lie. Can he get out of here? They're deep down in there, guys. I do not envy them, but uh, looking forward to seeing how they get out. And just about eight feet left to the hole. A 
Hunt is underway. T is making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That's heading for the fairway. Time for the second shot on the 18. That might be one club too many. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. If it's up, it could be in. Well, in it goes, and this just continues this player's dominance. Hat trick of victories now, three of them. Gotta say, this player is on fire. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Ridge Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. Sports delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the TGC Open is about to kick off. Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, it's like the first day at school is that this player has now made it to the PGA Tour. What could possibly be going on through their mind? They're just trying to not vomit <laughs> when they're on the first team, Luke. <laughs> right. Nobody's thinking about the money and the excitement <laughs> and the major wins. And this is the honest truth. You are literally so excited to hit that first tee shot. You really don't care where it goes, but you want it to be in play. But right. you just, that's the only thing that you can. Let's just get going. That's the only thing that you can possibly comprehend mm -hmm. is hitting that ball. That's the only thing you can. I, I dare any other player to say, well, <laughs> this is the <laughs> right. yeah. first of many unbelievable opportunities listen we, we can talk about everything that they want to achieve or what their career was but right now their one and only goal is getting that first tee shot in play somewhere big day coming up can't wait to see how it unfolds rich this should be an absolute beauty oh that is a thing of beauty time for the second shot here on the second hole Opting for the five wood. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, they've got 39 feet to go to the cup. It's going to be interesting. Ooh, right by the hole. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. 
Yeah, you'll take that. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Getting ready to play their third. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. We have a par three on this one. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Hey, nice looking line. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. At minus two, going along nicely today. Teeing off here at the fourth. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from earlier today. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Well, there's a scorecard saver, Rich. That's perfection. Nicknamed the postman because he always seems to deliver in the Ryder Cup, Rich. Ian Poulter, a great character, a fantastic player, and a fierce his competitor. Ian Poulter has made a career out of demoralizing the Americans in the Ryder Cup loop. There's no doubt about that. But let's face it, there's hardly a player out there who gets the most out of his game. He's even acknowledged it. He may not have the most talent, but I can promise you this, there's very few players that are willing to work at it as hard as he is. He will sacrifice an awful lot, albeit no time away from his family. He will sacrifice every minute of the day if he thinks that it will make him a better player tomorrow he really is a workhorse on the pga tour and hats off to him he's getting his just desserts now with all the success he's had over the last few years looks like they've got the five wood sitting at minus three currently tied for first place Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Welcome to this par five hole. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous swing. 